Well, how here with more space engineers. Ha 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 ha. And today, well, you can probably see what we're starting here. We got a new build we're going to be doing. First, we have to get started. So let's go. Happy Monday, everybody. Hopefully you had a fantastic weekend. Um, mine was shorter than I would like, but, eh, you know, <laughs> what can you do, right? Anyway, so um, today what we're going to be doing is I want to, there's a build that I had been wanting to try for a while and I wasn't sure we'd be able to do it. So I want to see if we can get this to work the way I'm hoping that it will. Um, given my luck, it probably won't, but, eh, you know, we'll, we'll give it a try at least. Alright, so, um, see, so we've gone ahead and started with our basic building assembly. We have our landing gear, we've got a couple of blocks coming out, and we have a connector tied to a conveyor block. Now, this is where it's going to get a little interesting. And I'll explain what I am planning on doing. Um, once we get a little further in, we're going to do an advanced rotor. I really want it to flip the other way, but I guess we can do it this way. Um, doesn't really matter which is our, uh, we'll go that way with it. Okay. So now what I do want to do, what I do want to do, all right. <laughs> Let's grab the parts for this because we don't want this thing spinning because we're going to be doing a little bit of work with it. And uh, I am worried about certain things happening in the wrong order. Uh, I don't think I have a large steel tube, but that's okay. Okay, so this will allow things to pass through. Uh, we are going to do one more of these just because. Okay. I just get some of the parts out of my my inventory now when we're done what we're gonna end up with is we're gonna cut this thing loose over here and then we're gonna come back and do some skinning on it but as you can see right now we have a connector going into a conveyor which the advanced rotors will allow you to pass parts through them into another connector um, the reason we're doing this and I'm trying to figure out which is going to be the easiest way to go through here. Well, you know what, let's go this way. Just because. I don't know if everybody's seen everything down here yet. So we have our little walkway down here. Now what we're going to end up with, and I've already started building, or I should say I've already built part of the connector for it at least, or the connection for it, um, is we're going to end up with a connection point here. So the thing that we're building is going to latch into here. And if you've been paying attention and look down on my uh, my bar there, my hot bar, I have the beam drill. So a while back, the beam drill was changed because of the way that grids had changed for uh, stations or static grids. Putting beam drills on them, the beam drill actually will is I want to say disabled. I need to check to see. But as of when I first started thinking about this, the beam drill had been set up so that it would not work on uh, static grids. They have to be on mobile grids. So what we want to do is in order to be able to use this thing on the base, we're going to make a basically a, a drill ship. It won't have storage. It connects directly into a different uh, to another grid. And then uh, it'll have its own power supply. It'll have its own thrusters. So basically it'll be a small ship with a beam drill. Well, I shouldn't say small ship. It's going to be a large, a small build on a large grid um, that you'll be able to, it'll have rotors on it. So, you know, you'll be able to, pivot and direct this thing and basically it becomes a detachable uh, turret and we're going to end up using uh, the whip turret for those who don't know what that is it's a, a simple well I shouldn't say it's simple it's a system that allows for simple control of a, a grid basically you can use your your mouse pointer just like you do for your character to control a turret so uh, yeah but that's what we're going to be doing now, I am probably going to go a little quiet while we're doing this because I need to think about some of the things that I want to do. Uh, one of the things that we are actually going to do here is we're going to grab... We shouldn't need that anymore. 
Uh, what are we doing? We're doing blast doors. We want the blast door blocks because, well, reasons, right? For those who don't know, these count as a less than full block. So, uh, you get a little bit of clearance on either side, so even though they take up the volume of a full block, they don't have mounting points on the, uh, the, the large flat surfaces. It's only on the edge. This is important because it means we can have... You know what? I don't actually want those, because I only want it to be one block wide. Right? Uh, but it's important because of the fact that this will allow us to have... Um, that's a corner blocks that can basically pass over each other without locking into each other or grinding on each other's uh, collision boxes. And that's going to be important because this is this turret needs to oh, needs to be able to rotate. And in order to do that, you not you need to not have uh, collision on your blocks. And so then we will have basically the same thing here. And yes, I could probably get, well, I know I could get away with using regular blast doors here, but I like the, I like the look of this. And then, I don't think I can mount, oh, I can mount those there. Oh, so we can do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to, now the idea is to keep this build, you know, somewhat in reason. We don't want to have, you know, some ridiculous amounts of uh, width on this thing. You know, because like they say, it's, it's all about the diameter, right? All right, so... Go ahead and get you, get you, and then we're gonna. And like I said, this doesn't, the bottom doesn't matter quite so much as the top. We just need to make sure that the the section up there can rotate freely and not destroy itself when we're using it, because that would be bad. That'd be very bad. And there. Okay, so that gets us the basics of what we want. And you, sir, and or madam, need to be there. Okay. So that gives us a turret. So this is actually might work. Okay. <laughs> Not sure how well it's going to work, but we're going to find out. All right. So now that we have that, uh, I'm trying to think out well, where do I want to put the gyros on this thing? I think we might put gyros down here. We don't, now, we don't really need two of these things, but I'm going to put two on here anyway, just because if you have been following the channel for any period of time, you know that I am paranoid about such things. All right. And we want... Because the, the head is going to rotate, because this is going to be locked. So we want you... Do I want to go that way, or do I want to go... Let's go this way. And then for here, we are going to go... Like so, because we don't want it to latch in. And do I want to go that way with it? Uh, I don't know how I want to... I guess we could do that way. What we're doing is we're at this point basically making a uh, little bit more of a protection piece here so that the the gyros are less likely to get themselves sheared off. Always fun when that happens and we don't want that to happen so okay so we have that. This comes up here and so then we're going to go oh I need, need interior plates Am I out of interior plates is the question. No, I have plenty of interior plates. I don't need that many, so we're just going to go one, two, and then if we go 
one. So I come over, so that would. We're gonna take these out. We're gonna put large reactor in. We want to make sure that this thing is. So the connectors are on the top and bottom. Where do I want it to go? This way. I might go this way. And we're going to do the same on this side. The Princess Layer reactor build. If you don't know what I'm referring to, then uh, yeah, <laughs> there's no hope for you. Okay, so we've got all of this going. Now we do need to have a rotor on one side. So we want this to match basically here. It's going to come out a little bit, obviously. Um, No, we might do. Let's do this instead. Since we've got the conveyor block there, we can do that. We can take that out. Uh, if we go... How do I want to do this? I might build this up a level and then have it come out. That might work. Now I could do multiple uh, rotors and tie them together using a merge block, but that's usually more trouble than it's worth. So if we do that... Because you are 3x3, three three, correct? Yes, you're 3x3, three three. okay. So if we bring you out from there, all right, so it's going to go one, two, oh, let's measure this off just to make sure our uh, expectation is correct. Yes, you are three by three, which means we are going to need you. Actually, you know what? Let's do it this way. Let's go with a slightly chunkier piece there. Go out one. You know what? I just realized we need this to be completely piped or else it's not going to work. So, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. That should be. I don't know. Is that going to be enough? We want to take it out one more. We're going to take it out one more. And then on this side, we did three, and then we did three. And this is basically just giving us an area to frame it in. Alright, so let's go get this. We're going to bring our advanced rotor back out. And I want you to be zero forward. Alright. And come here, you. There we go. Let's go ahead and weld that up. And again, the reason why I'm welding this up before I do anything else is that when rotors are unwelded, the uh, the the rotor head or the rotor part as they call it here, uh, doesn't have any tension on it. So if you start mounting things to it, it'll do funny things like uh, start wobbling. So if you weld them up first, you don't have that problem. Makes it much easier to build stuff around here. 
Right, now, the reason I'm going with this is because if you notice on the ends here, on the sides, you have uh, connectors. So we can actually mount things in there. And what that means is we can then go like so. That gives us a little bit of space on this side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, blast door blocks once more. Because we don't want this thing shaking too much. We're going to have enough problems, that, you know, that we don't need it. Oh, you're going to do that. Okay, I need... Edge piece. Nope. Uh, the collision block on that is just a little too big. Okay. Interesting. Alright, well, that means we'll just do... Oh, won't let me do that either. Yeah, interesting. Maybe once I weld it up. Alright. So, um, yeah, that's basically what we're looking for. That gives us... Actually, that's going to give us pretty good clearance on all, all the way around it. Now, the nice thing is, or the, uh, the benefit of this is going to be that we can then put in a uh, cockpit. Now, the, the script that we're going to be using... It has to. You have to have a cockpit or some type of control seat installed. You cannot use the passenger seats uh, because they don't have control systems wired through them. It's just the way the system is set up. Um, do I want to use the rover cockpit? I might use the rover cockpit. I mean, it is a large grid. I could always just build my own flight deck. But I think I'm going to use this. Okay. That gives us all that. And because I do, this is going to be tied into the grid, so it should pass oxygen through everything. The one piece that it's not going to pass oxygen through is going to be on the cockpit, because of where the cockpit's at. But we can change that by doing this, because the cockpit on that on the top of the cockpit has a large connector so if we put a large connector there and tie it into the rest of the grid that should allow us to get oxygen into the cockpit as long as it's tied to a system that has oxygen now the benefit of something like this is we don't have thrusters on it right this second that's why we left these corners open because we will have thrusters on it um, but the benefit of these types of builds is that you can basically take your drilling assembly and move it from build to build. So you don't have to have a static thing built someplace that you then break down once you're done. You, you basically just disconnect it, move it over to the next ship, you know, wherever your next build is, and uh, you do it that way. And if you need to transport it, you just lock it onto something like, say, this, where we have, we'll have the connector on the back here. Um, and we'll basically, once we separate from the station, we go out a little bit, we bring that in, we lock it in, and then we can use the jump drives on this to get it further out into space if we need to. Or even into atmosphere if you really want. Alright, so what we're going to do then is I'm going to... I think I'm going to put most of our thrusters, or actually I'm going to put all of our thrusters on the bottom grid. Actually, yes, because this would be the primary grid. That's a secondary grid. We want all of our thrust applied to the primary grid. Okay. And we are going to go for thrusters. When everything is done... We're not planning on this being used in atmosphere or even in gravity too much. So let's go ahead and go with the, the vanilla ion thrusters. Oof. We go large. <laughs> no, I think this I think the small thrusters should be enough. So what we'll do is we'll do one here, one there. And then we're going to rinse and repeat on these sides. Oh, come here, you. Energy low. All right, and then we will do a couple 
this way. Alright. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to flip these. Uh, those... I might need to use modified thrusters for those. Because that is potentially going to burn those blocks. I mean, I could... I could take those out. That would give us at least some control, because we don't need it to be ridiculously responsive. See, my, my, my main concern is that I don't remember what the uh, number of blocks is for the small thrusters. You know what, let's go... I think we're just gonna go with the uh, regular ion with the, for these guys. Because I want to say, I think, actually, you know what? Do you come up through? Oh, look at that. You actually passed through there. So we could actually place a regular thruster there. Which keeps this thing entirely vanilla, except for the cockpit and the drill. Uh, speaking of, let's go ahead and <laughs> grab the character tools really quick. Okay. Yeah, and that should be everything. We've got flight systems, we have gyros, we have thrusters, we have control area, we have power, we have the ability to get into the power so we can actually put uranium in there, and we have the ability for that. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is, because this is running a little bit long, I'm going to go ahead, let Bob, I'm going to turn on all the Bobs, get this thing welded up, and uh, we'll do a quick cut. Well, it'll be a quick cut for you. It'll be a long time for me uh, to get this thing completely welded up and running. I'll bring you back before we really do anything with it, and uh, I'll show you how we're going to set up the script, because we still we still need to put in a uh, the programmable block, which I think we're going to drop here. Probably here, maybe up here somewhere, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, the cut, and I will bring you right back. Let's grab this really quick. and Because this thing is going to be a pain in the backside. Uh, yeah, we'll drop it right there. Oh, no, we can't drop it right there. That's right in front of the thruster. Okay, that would have been funny. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> oh, that was almost more comedy than I wanted to deal with. Okay. And you know what? You're not going to be able to put a thruster there because it's... We need this to be able to pivot. Pivot, rather. So I could do... Oh, man, you know what? I'm going to have to do these thrusters. Alright. I was kind of hoping to keep it a little bit more vanilla, but... So I do that. I don't want to run the risk that it's going to attach. So we'll do that. And... We'll try that and see, make sure it's not going to do anything. What we'll do is I'll uh, put a block up here eventually, like up here on the top corner, or maybe down on the bottom corner, and see if we destroy anything with it. So, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and do that cut, and we will be right back. And we're back. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I ended up having to go down to the planet 
I did some mining up here, went down to the planet, picked up some resources and some of the finished goods, uh, because it was taking entirely too long to finish. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, but as you can see, we've gotten most of it done at this point, and I'll probably re redo some of this later, like uh, the thruster system. I'll probably change some of that out. I'm just just not really happy with the way the whole thing turned out. Um, but otherwise, we do have most of the ship done at this point. We do have the thrusters, so we should have enough, in theory, enough lift to get this thing off of the platform. Uh, we went ahead and put in a temporary connector over here, which I may need to replace, because I don't know... Actually, you know what? I didn't check this. I have a feeling that I may not be able to uh, push ore through that. Because <laughs> it wasn't a huge thing for me when I was doing this whole... Alright, so can we go to... Ore storage. Nope. Okay, so... And are you... Because you're not actually connected to anything. Hmm. Alright. Let's do this really quick. There we go. And so, yeah, I basically brought the small miner that we had brought up with us um, in and connected it up. So that's actually operational. So you're going there. We can pass you through here if we do it. Alright, so in theory everything that's coming through here is ore anyway. I'm not planning on bringing anything that isn't ore through this direction. We did all of this properly. Hey, it connects up. Okay. And yes, I know I made all of these like nice little areas to get through and I keep going the long way around. <laughs> Alright. So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and grab this out of here. And as you can probably tell, I did do some uh, changes to the base. We put in some light towers, uh, those things, so that you actually, when you turn off the light, you actually can see some of the stuff going on over here. And one of the nice things is that in here you now have actual light as well, which we already had because of that. So it just gives you something else to look at. I might do another one of the light towers like I did down on the planet where we'll have uh, rotors in place. So you know the whole, you'll get the spinning light and everything. But eh. It is what it is for now, and it works, and if I really want to, what I'll probably end up doing is using uh, regular corner lights. Let me see, because you are actually in this block, so I'd have to put them on top, which I might be able to do. I don't know. Anyway, we'll figure it out. So for now, we have something that should, in theory, work. We're going to grab... Actually, can I grab... Any uranium ingots out of here? 242... You've got 419. Okay, so yes, it is working the way I want it to. Okay. But that also means it's annoying, because then I have to go over here instead. But that's okay, I don't mind too much, right? And we are going to hide anything that is empty, because, well, you know, makes it easier, right? So we're going to grab, uh, I don't know, let's grab 150 out of there. Now the question is, is will this have enough power to uh, power the thrusters? <laughs> that's, the, that's the big question. Alright. Now we do have a group set up for the thrusters. And we're going to put you over here. That's going to be toggle you on and off. And we need landing gear. We're going to have you just do a switch lock. 
Okay, so. Uh, you know what? It's because it's the engines are on a different grid. I'm going to have to move the cockpit. Okay, let's do that. Which means I'll have to pipe things around a little bit. Which is fine because we were gonna plan we were planning on moving some things around anyway. But for now, let's go ahead and do just to get this thing in here so we can get it under control. Come on, let me in. There we go. Are you not letting me in? There we go. Okay, so we've got that, we've got that. I'll have to put another cockpit up. On the other side. See, things you have to consider when you're building this kind of stuff, right? Now there is a script that you can that you can use. Um, that will allow you to control thrusters across grid like that. I don't have that loaded. Uh, basically, it's used for if you want to have, you know, like Firefly Serenity style builds where you have um, outrigging for thrusters and you want to have, you know, the thrusters on pivot mounts. Um, the, the mod actually works really, really well. It's just really uh, annoying the first time you need to set it up uh, because you need to figure out what all your angles are. And why is, why am I, oh, you know why? Because I think I swapped out some thrusters. We want to make sure everybody is in the group. Everybody's in the group. Okay, why are you not powering on? What are you missing? Hmm, I don't see anything. Okay. So it takes very little of the power to do that. Okay, so I have not saved, so this may be a very bad idea, <laughs> but we're going to try it anyway. Oh, look at that. It flies. Barely. Alright. So it's not enough not enough thrust to maintain buoyancy completely on its own. Probably because of the fact that we are technically in a gravity well. Alright. Well, we are we are in planetary gravity. That's that goes without saying, but Hey, look at that. That's why we have a landing gear on it. That's <laughs> just in case. All right. So now if we... Ooh, this thing is top heavy. I might have too much... I may have too much gyro on this. Yeah, I think I have too much dryer on this for the mass. Okay. Ever made ever since they made those changes to the uh Oh, you know what I don't have in here? I don't have my connector. Way too much gyro. Trying to see how close are we. God, I hate the I hate the new camera system. All right, 
So I need... I need a docking camera is what I need. Oh, uh, let me see here. If we do... Are you actually attached to anything? You don't look like you're actually attached to anything. I'm trying to figure out if I can get away with putting a docking camera on this thing. Okay, so you are one block. So I need to move you one block back, one block over. So if we do, we're just going to do a, a quick. Uh, so if we do there, so that'd be space. So if we do that, we put a camera here. Need steel plate. Of course we do. Why wouldn't we need steel plates, right? right? So you are going to be that way. So when you are connected in, you are going to be able to swing, right? Yes. Okay. <sighs> Gotta love it sometimes. Best laid plans of pandas, right? So, so let's go ahead and do this. We're going to do view. We went there. So basically what we're trying to do is we want to get the center of our camera. Come on. It's like a mini game. Right. Yes, I know I'm almost out of oxygen. And yes, that terrifies the hell out of me. So what we're trying to do is get this thing close enough where it says that it's ready to lock. Alright. Come on. And you know what? Let's just jump in here really quick. Get our oxygen back. Okay, so... Okay, so it does need to drift over just a little bit, but it also means we need to take either this block out or the landing gear off. Because that's really close. Look at that. Oh, that's so close. Okay. Um, first things first. Let's get our tank <laughs> recharged. Alright. And now we'll do... Let's go ahead and drop all the miscellaneous stuff that we just picked up out of there. Put it back into storage. Throw you in there. Actually, you shouldn't... Oh, because we did the other way. Oh, I wonder if I can get you... Oh, you are actually working the way you're supposed to work. Okay. So close. See, it would be nice if these thrusters had just enough lift to keep them up. But I do think we're going to have to uh, finagle this just a little bit. So if we go Okay, so in theory we're latched on, we're latched on. Hey, look at that. Okay, so we can go ahead and turn off those thrusters. So thrusters are off. Okay. Now this took much longer than I was expecting it to. <laughs> Let's go. We're going to grab another one of the rover cockpits. Let's go ahead and grab that out of there. We're going to grab the... Hopefully grab... Wait. Didn't have enough bulletproof glass. Okay. I think I have the silicon for that, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. But for now, let's go ahead and get you in here. 
Yeah, we need 29 glass. Okay. No, you out of there. Ah, son of a... Okay, you go there. Uh, how many did we say? 29? Screw it. There you go. What is this missing? This is missing silver. Did we... Are we out of silver? We may be out of silver again. No, it, actually, we got a lot of silver. Why aren't you... Look at all that silver we have. So why aren't you producing? Is it that you're out of gravel? Maybe you're out of gravel. Yeah, you're out of gravel. Okay. Alright, so it will finish producing those eventually. Looks like we are welded up. Hey, look at that! We have O2 inside the, uh, the pressure. Okay. So now we're gonna go... Actually, out here, we're gonna rename this so that we can... F where did we put the... I forgot where I put it. Didn't I put... Okay, where did I put the programmable block? Did we burn it off? We may have burned it off. Okay. Um, well, crap. So we're gonna put it there. Oh, you know what? Do it the easy way. And I need an interior plate for this, and it's gonna say I don't have any interior plates, aren't you? Oh, no. Is this, are you steel plates then? I don't remember. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in here. Come on, Bob. Load it up. There we go. Yeah, you know, I would it would have, like, driven me mad to try and figure out why I couldn't find this damn thing. All right. So this is going to be the minor uh, program. We are going to edit this. We're going to browse the scripts that we have and the one that we want. Is this one whips mouse turret? Yeah, also, it seems your control seat is on the station. Rest of the game on rotor should work. Okay, so we need script setup. Okay, so... So we need Mart, whatever the ID tag is. Oh, okay. One cockpit, one control seat, or one remote control. We need an horizontal named Azimuth. We need a vertical elevation. Okay. So we're going to copy this to editor. Um, I am going to go ahead and have it do the code check. It compiled successfully. We're going to say OK. No mark groups found. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to go advanced rotor. Uh, you are on the same grid. So you should be You should be azimuth. You should be vertical. Alright. Why do I not think that that's right? That doesn't look right for some reason. Am I going crazy? Oh. Alright, so... Rotor... Rotor. I know that's not right for some reason. I'm sitting there looking at it going... Alright, so... Our elevation... Elevation is what we need. Okay. Yeah, I was right. See, it is AL. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
So it needs to be elevation, it needs to be azimuth for the horizontal. Okay. And the group name has to be Martin. For that, we need to make sure that the turret or the co uh, cockpit. Hmm. All right. So now let's take a look at. Elevation. So, okay, so we're going to call this. Um, helps if I spell it properly, doesn't it? Let's try that again. Mining rotor. Mining rotor. And then what we can do here is we're going to look for this, and we can say, okay, we want this, we want this, and we want this, right? And this is going to be Mart Mining. Okay, so now if we look at the program block, turrets online, elevation murders one. Oh, because we didn't. Her, her, her. Okay. So we want the drill. Let's go ahead and grab the beam drill. Mining beam drill. Now we can say mining, we grab this, we grab the beam drill, we save all of these together, look at the program, rotors active, okay, looks like everything's active, so, everything's working, okay, well, for the most part, anyway, oh, uh, wait, you know why, oh, it's not gonna let me, are you really not gonna, <laughs> look at that, all right. So we're going to go this way. We want you, good sir, to be there. Are you really not going to let me do that? Oh, you used to be. Oh, okay, there. There it goes. Oh, hello. So what do we have you set to do? Um, let us not do that way. <laughs> oh, let's go. Um, hi, will you turn off now? What are you doing? Why are you just... You should not still be mining. Why are you still mining? Okay, you. Come here. Mining me drill. Off. Okay. Um, I'm kind of curious to see how much ore did we... Did we get any ore out of that? Bunch of uranium. 9k platinum. 167k platinum. 121k platinum. So yes, we did get resources out of that. Okay. <laughs> now this is one of the reasons why I normally will actually attach the cockpit to the beam drill so that when you're piloting it around you can see what you're doing. Um, for some reason, oh there it goes, now it gives me the external view. Alright. That's really weird that, oh you know why, because it's, well no it should be Thrusters all, spotlights, rotors, mining spotlight, med bay, lights, mark mining. Okay, so if we go all blocks, let's go beam. Oh, because that was the group. Okay. So we want this to be toggle on off we want to set 
this up so that we go in here. We go to beam. We're going to set on our uh, ignore stone. Yeah, we don't want it to collect stone. It's got an 800 meter range. All right. So now if we go beam drill, mining beam drill. And we drop that here. Hold up. Will you let me? Hmm. So it should be letting me grab these as. Oh, because it's registering us as a base right now. That's right. Okay. So we'll say no to that. We're going to go this way. And we're going to say. And so it's just going to go ahead and collect stuff for us. So uh, yeah, we have the we have the ability now to consume mass quantities. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So let's see how much platinum we now have. We should have some just ungodly amount. Yeah, we've got ungodly amounts of platinum and stuff. <laughs> we've got almost a million. Oh, okay. So anyway, for if you ever want an overkill drill, there's an overkill drill for you. And what makes it absolutely horrifying is the fact that it has the ability to be relocated. <laughs> so if you ever want one... There you go. <laughs> Will I actually use this thing? Probably uh, for limited use. I, I'm not planning on taking something like that with me, but, you know, people have asked me to build something completely outlandish, and you don't get much more outlandish than that. So. <laughs> anyway. All right. I'm going to thank you all for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun hanging out with you all today and uh, doing something that was just completely ridiculous. And I mean completely ridiculous. Holy crap, this thing is awesome. Oh, so anyway, if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to throw them down in the section below. If you're new to the channel, haven't done so already, or just want to do something nice today, uh, hit that subscribe button. If you actually want to be kept up to date with what's going on around here, make sure you ring that bell. And if you have any questions, like I said, throw them down there, man. I'd I do enjoy uh, talking to everybody, and if you have questions or, you know, want to learn how to do something, best way to do it is to ask so anyway i'm gonna get out of here i hope you all have a fantastic day have a terrific week and we'll see you back here next time for more space engineers as always folks take care and be safe out there everybody oh that thing is so overkill and hey, look we got silver over there hmm <laughs>